Hi, this is Sammy from Redmond Business Management Solutions. I'm going to show you how to create a SaaS um, logbook today to make your life easier for yourself and uh, probably your tax practitioner and hopefully have less costs for yourself if you are paying a tax practitioner to do your logbook. So this is one I've already created. Let's start from scratch, right? So I'm going to just copy paste the headings to make it quick. Go home, copy, and we're going to go to paste. Now the columns you have here is your date for your, of your travel, your opening kilometers for your odometer, car, your car odometer, your closing kilometers, your business travel. I like to put in a column for my private travel because I'm not very good about keeping accurate records of each business trip if I've done multiple trips for a day. Right? I normally just take my opening kilometers and my closing kilometers for, my, uh, for the day. So if you're like me, it's better to put in a column for the private kilometers. Then the place you've started your trip at, place you've completed your trip at, and the reason for your business trip. If you're very good, your actual fuel kilometer spend and your actual repairs and maintenance spend. Let's start with the date. So you want to put your date in, starting, okay, we're going to say 2nd of March, right? And I am going to put in the date, starting with the month. And the reason for that is that I want to be able to autofill this date down the rows. I don't want to have to type it in for each day. Uh, day of the month. So I'm just going to autofill that, right click it there and just autofill. It should autofill automatically and you'll see that it changes to the next month because it actually ha is smart enough to know that it is a date. It's in date format. But this works when you have the month at the beginning. If you don't have the month at the beginning, it'll read it as, it'll still read the first number if it's less than 12 as a month. Okay. So you can just extrapolate that down right to 28th of February 21. Or if you want to create a page per month, let's have a look at how we can do that. So I'm going to stop at 31st of March there. So I've got an opening kilometers. I've started traveling when my car was exactly at 10,000 kilometers for business purposes. For that particular day, I did 50 kilometers. I know my home to work and work to home kilometers. Return trip is 25 kilometers. Right? And the reason I need to put that in is because home to work and work to home is not claimable as tra a business travel for tax purposes. Now we're going to put a formula in here. So you're going to take your closing kilometers minus your opening kilometers minus your private kilometers. Right? And then if you've traveled again later in the week and you've got, you don't know how many, you may have made two or three trips, you know that your home to office, office back to home, 25 kilometers round trip, all you have to do is then copy that formula over. If you travel, if you're a sales rep and you're traveling on a daily basis, you can just autofill that like that. And whichever day you've traveled on, you've got, in fact, if you're a sales rep, what you can do is make your life easy and just put a plus there to bring in your closing kilometers for the next, uh, as your opening kilometers for the next day, because you're traveling Monday to Friday, probably. All right. And you can also then extrapolate this. But be careful, if you extrapolate that and leave it as a, leave these as blank, it's going to subtract it from your business kilometers. So don't extrapolate too far down. Or if you're not traveling on a daily basis, don't extrapolate every day. Then you have to copy it or make sure you zero it out. So that is now, you've got your home to work kilometers there. You've got your business kilometers. You can put in your re your place, your starting point, and your finishing point there. Um, customer visit. And 
you can do the same here now remember even if you start your trip from home to um, to your customer you still take out your 25 kilometers which is considered private travel right because had you not gone directly to the customer you would have had to go to the office so just make sure you deduct that on a daily basis as well All right, now you want to um, calculate your business kilometers for the month highlight your business kilometers column bring it down to one cell below the 31st of March and just auto sum so your business kilometers for that particular month was a total of 225 right you want to make it look all nice and pretty so you highlight it down to just below 31st click on your borders and you can put nice little borders on that I'm going to put a nice double border below my total to make it look like the total and I'm going to highlight it in bold and then the form that I'm going to give to SARS I'm actually going to hide my private kilometers right? because SARS doesn't actually need that you can leave it there it doesn't really matter but you can also highlight it now if you want to create uh, a tab per month all you have to do is either right click on the page move a copy and create a copy and create a new page right so we've done March and April this was May and now we are going to do if you want to change the name of the month double click on sheet 3 and type in May now we're going to do June so we're going to double click on that and say June and I am going to change this to June so all I'm going to do is change the month there Oh, actually, let's start from the 1st of June. All right, change that. And once again, pull it down. The other thing you can do instead of pulling it down, oops, let's just undo it, is just double click on it and it populates it down to the 30th of June. Obviously, you have to start with fresh information all over there. All right, and don't forget to save your book. So saving your, you save your Excel file. Now let's just say you want to have it. I'm going to go back to April. You don't want to give SARS an Excel booklet. You want to give it to them in PDF form. First, you've got to make sure it's in a nice uh, printable format. So click on View, click on Page Break. Pull your page breaks through so your, your sheet looks... Um, nice you've got you can see the whole sheet in a printable format and then go to file save as right i'm gonna just click on sars travel logbook and i'm keeping the name if you want to save that as fy20 march because with the pdf format you have to save each page as a pdf right and then you'll have to use a pdf merge to just merge the 12 pages together so there you have a nice PDF format which you can submit to SARS. Okay, and that is how you do your SARS logbook. I hope this has helped you and I hope you're going to get some use out of it and hopefully have an easier time doing your tax this year. Bye-bye.